Welcome back to Good Company. I'm Jordan Borders and we are out here again at Illinois Eye Center and today we are going to be talking about all things cataracts, signs, symptoms, and solutions. So today I'm joined by Dr. Evan Pike. Welcome Dr. Pike. Good to be back. Thank you. Thank you. So um, remind our viewers um, what your specialty is out here at Illinois Eye. Uh, my primary specialty has been in cornea and external disease and refractive surgery although cataracts do comprise a very large component of my practice as well. Okay. Well, a lot of our viewers have heard of cataracts. They know a neighbor, a friend, a coworker that mm -hmm. has had them, but what exactly is a cataract? Cataracts are definitely very common. Uh, a cataract is basically a cloudy and hazy lens that's inside the eye. We're all born with clear lenses inside of the eye, and these help us focus the light uh, crisply, sharply in the eye. Over time, uh, that lens inside the eye will become kind of cloudy and hazy, and that will cause changes, decrease in the vision usually. Okay, and so what are some of the signs and symptoms of cataracts starting to develop in an eye? More commonly, patients will talk about, say, driving, for instance, at nighttime. They'll notice point light sources at night will start to have glare, mm. halos around them. Bright lights will bother them if an oncoming car at night is coming and it makes things a lot more brighter because the cataract tends to scatter the light that's coming inside of the eye. Other times patients may notice decreased vision when driving in the rain or driving with uh, a dim or foggy sort of uh, weather outside. Um, patients will also notice when they read at nighttime with low light it tends to be harder and more difficult. And those are some of the more common things that people will notice. Okay. And so once someone's been diagnosed with a cataract, what are the next steps? Very early on in the process, we'll see patients who have cataracts that don't bother them or cause symptoms. Uh, over time, what we do is we follow those patients routinely until a point in time where it does bother them enough or it decreases their vision when we do certain testing in the clinic mm -hmm. enough to say that it qualifies or is um, significant enough to warrant needing surgery. Okay, and then once you get to the point of surgery, tell us about cataract surgery. What does that involve? The first step when someone has a visually significant cataract is to have a whole host of measurements and pictures so we know what we're going to be planning on in terms of cataract surgery. Uh, when we do cataract surgery nowadays, the vast majority of those are done under topical numbing drops. And I liken to removing a cataract like we're going to hollow out an M&M. Because okay. what we're going to plan on doing is leaving the natural lens capsule behind and that provides a space to put an artificial lens implant that will for thereon correct the vision. Okay and tell us a little bit about um, lens implants because there are different mm -hmm. options available, right? Right. And when a patient comes in for the testing, the pictures and the measurements that they need, that's the perfect time that we're going to sit down with the patients and talk to them about the different lens implant options. And every patient's different so there's um, lens implants that help correct astigmatism, which is a shape of the cornea that's irregular, and we have lens implants that can correct that. We also have lens implants that can help with not only distance vision, but intermediate vision or computer distance and then up close vision. We call those multifocal lenses. And depending on the measurements and the discussion between the doctor and the patient, we can determine the candidacy of uh, each patient and what lens implant's best for them. Okay. And everything you've shared so far, you make this sound so simple and, and, and easy. Um, but a lot of people describe um, having cataract surgery as kind of life changing. Sure. Um, so tell us a little bit about what patients can expect from their vision after surgery. What they should expect at least early on is certainly improvement of vision, but mm -hmm. um, not very frequently is the vision going to be as good as it ever will be mm -hmm. the day after surgery. Okay. But as the week goes on and in the first few weeks of uh, after surgery, uh, things will continue to improve, but a lot of patients will notice such bright, vivid improvements of colors, mm -hmm. um, glare, and bright light issues that they had once had at night uh, have diminished or, or, or uh, resolved. Um, but the majority of patients don't even realize, since cataracts are so slow to progress, mm -hmm. what they were missing um, after they had surgery done. Wow. All right, well, viewers out there, if you are experiencing anything that you think might be cataract-related uh, or anything else that Illinois Eye Center um, has a host of doctors that can help you with, 
Um, you can visit them online at IllinoisEyeCenter.com or you can also call to schedule an appointment at either their Peoria or their Washington location and that phone number is 243-3846. All right, Dr. Pike, thank you so much for joining us again today. Sure, anytime. All right, well, stay tuned here to Good Company. We've got more coming up again.